Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to colorize an image. What I mean is you can take a color image that looks like this, and you can turn it to black and white, and then just color different segments of it. It's pretty easy to do once you know the secret. Let me show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is go to your media pool and pull up the video clip or photo that you want to colorize. Pull it up to any of your video tracks. And once you have it there, you want to click on the event effects. On event effects, you want to go over and pick Sony Color Corrector Secondary. Be sure and get the secondary one. And then click OK. And on the secondary color corrector screen, you want to select Computer RGB to Studio RGB, like that. Then you want to come over and select the effect range. But before we do that, we're going to move this over. We're going to select the red right here. Now that we have that selected, what we're going to do is go in and click Invert Mask. And then we're going to push the saturation all the way down. It makes the uh, image black and white with a little bit of red here. We're going to push the limit saturation, the low, all the way to the bottom. The limit saturation high is going to be all the way to the top. The limit luminous low is going to be all the way to the bottom. Limit luminous high is going to be all the way to the top. And now you can see over here that we have a black and white background with a red balloon. Now we can also change the amount of red that we see there by changing the width. And see, I can bring that way over and actually bring in other colors. And now it brings in the yellow, but still the blue and the other balloons are out. So I can do that just by changing the width. Once I've done that, I can close the window. And you can see now that the, what we started out with the blue sky, the yellow balloon, the blue balloon, the white balloon is now all black and white, but the red balloon is still there. It's easy to do, and I'm going to go through it real quickly just to show you again. We select Event Effects. We selected the Color Corrector Secondary. We chose Computer RGB to Studio RGB. We used the Select Effect Range eyedropper to select the color we wanted to keep colored. We put a check mark in Invert Mask. We pushed Saturation all the way down. We pushed the Limit Saturation low all the way down. We push limit saturation high all the way up. We push limit luminous low all the way down, limit luminous high all the way up, and then we adjusted the width to get the colors we wanted. Now, once you do this, you can save this as a preset if you're going to be using it throughout your video. To save as a preset, you just come over here and you enter a new name and click the disk icon to save. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find a lot more like this at www.bmyers.com and a whole lot more on my DVD 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Movie Studio, which is available at my website as well as at Amazon.com.